Hello guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello. Today I am joined by Hot Girl Summer. Body yada 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 yada. It is Megan V. Stallion. <laughs> Hey girl! I am so honored that you're here on my channel today. Um, it's been a dream. I, I've been living up my confidence thanks yes. to you. Girl, how are you? I'm really nervous because I'm like, damn, I feel like I know how to do makeup, but it's like... Because <laughs> you always do your own makeup, right? I used to be scared to let people do my makeup because I would feel like nobody knows my facial features better than me. Uh, and mm -hmm. people would get Amen. to my face and just make me look crazy. And I'll be like, no, I'm, <laughs> you are not touching me. But I just recently got comfortable with like two Ooh. different makeup artists. And- Ooh, who are they? Uh, Priscilla and Lauren. <gasps> Priscilla Ono? Yes, yes, she's so fire. <laughs> so like, those are like the only two ladies I let touch my face. <laughs> I love it, I love it. So today we are sitting down and as you can tell, especially by my face, uh, work has been done because today we are playing with some brand new products. Tell the people what I'm holding right here. So right now we have the Megan Stallion and Revlon collection, the Big Bad Palette. And yeah, I really love doing like smoky eyes and you know, I really like a lot of glitters. And yeah, I just like to be cute or whatever and sultry. <laughs> I like to make people feel romantic. <laughs> when they look at me, yes. I'm like, yeah, I want you to want to kiss me. <laughs> so I feel like that's what my palette is giving. It's giving romance. It's giving, let's go on a date. <laughs> it's a lot of sexiness. Yeah. I love the, the bronzy tones and this glitter shade right here. I want to dive in and drown in it. Yes. So today we're gonna to be playing with this palette right here, as well as other Revlon products, and we're just gonna get glam. After this, I'll stop for a hot girl summer look. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Okay, so I don't know, what are you gonna to do today? When I see the palette, I, I feel sexiness, I feel confidence. So I just wanna do like a, like, Bad bitch smoky eye. Okay, bad bitch. I never know what I'm gonna right. do to my makeup like when I see the eyeshadow. I'm just like, let's see what just comes out. Do you do eyes or face first always? I used to do face first and then eyes, but then Priscilla uh -huh. and Lauren taught me, maybe you should do your eyes first so your eyeshadow doesn't like fall all in your makeup. <laughs> true, true, true. People always tell me that and I never get myself to do it. I always have to like feel like I'm starting off with a, a clean canvas kind of the situation right now. Um, so tell me, where does that fascination with makeup come from? Um, I really love colors and I really like to pop. I really like to stand out. I think I started playing in makeup when I was like in the seventh grade. Wait, I'm in Holland. How old are you in the seventh grade? Shit, like 13. 13, really? Hell no, that's ninth grade. I was like 14 in the ninth grade. I was definitely 12. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm like, now hold on now. <laughs> but yeah, so I was like 12 and I used to always go in like the convenience store with my grandma and I would buy all the single, what's it called, eyeshadows? Yeah, the single pan ones. Mm-hmm. Cause okay. my, mom, my mom didn't want me to wear makeup, but my grandma was like, girl, be you, what you want to do? I'm gonna buy you everything. <laughs> yes, grandma, I love yes, it. Yes, my grandma was fun, <laughs> she was lit. <laughs> and then when I got in the eighth grade, I was definitely giving brows, giving eyeshadow. Lipstick. <laughs> I love it. See, I always do my own makeup for everything, like literally everything. And I always get the question, like, how do you decide what you wear? Um, how do you come up with like the looks? Like, what is like the go-to look to make you feel that confidence? Like makeup or clothes? Oh, all of it. Um, makeup, I'm just like very experimental. I used to love cut creases because I feel like this makes my eye look very like long and I love like a cat eye. So like that was like my go-to. And then when I yep. met Priscilla and Lauren, they introduced me to so many other like eye shapes and like other ways to do your makeup. I'm like, okay, I guess I ain't got to cut the crease all the damn time. So how long does it take you to do your look? Cause you're moving fast. I need to hurry up. Like me doing my own makeup. I'm like, girl, I could probably do this in 20 minutes. But like Stop. when other people do my makeup, I'm like, okay, focus. <laughs> <laughs> what are you about to do to me? And what is like one of the tricks that you learned from uh, Priscilla that you still apply to your own routine nowadays? She, so first of all, I love liquid eyeliner, right? She yes. doesn't put liquid eyeliner on me first. She, like she'll put eyeliner, but like it'll be black eyeshadow. And then she starts oh. like winging it out and it looks like more natural. Like I was just diving in 
What would you say is like one of your biggest makeup mistakes from the past? Oh my God, I used to wear my eyebrows ginormous. And I thought it was so cute. My mom used to be like, why the hell are you wearing your eyebrows so big? And I'll be looking at her like, girl, you are hating on me. So what was their style back in the day? I guess very thin, but baby, mine was big and sharp. And me and my roommate used to wake up every day at like eight o'clock in the morning before class and do our eyebrows exactly the same. Like the girls in our <laughs> dorm used to come like knock on our door at seven o'clock and be like, we just wanted to see what y'all look like with no makeup. I'm like, bitch, you're not gonna catch me without my beat. I read somewhere that you're still trying to get that degree, right? Yes, girl, I'm graduating December 11th. You're graduating? Yes. I love it, congrats. I'm so excited because I'm like, I've been a super senior for like five years. <laughs> Why was it so important for you to get that degree? Um, I always knew I wanted to be a rapper and I wanted to get my education and my grandmother was a teacher mm -hmm. and she was just always on my butt about it. Like, girl, you better get that that damn degree. And yes. before my mom passed, she was like just very on me about it. And I'm like, okay, I, I definitely mm -hmm. gotta finish. I gotta make them proud. I think for anyone who doesn't know your backstory, your mom used to be in the rap world. Yeah. Um, and that's what influenced you, right? Yep, definitely. She used to be a rapper and I thought everybody's mom was like cool like that. <laughs> we love mom and tutorials, but my mom can't rap. <laughs> Baby. I was like, damn, I got the coolest mom. And I was so scared to tell her I could rap because she was so good. Well, and then you you let her hear some of your bars and she said it was too provocative, right? Yeah, she said, oh my gosh, where did you learn how to talk like this? <laughs> <laughs> I said, girl, you. But I, before I was like, mom, okay, I'm about to curse, so don't get mad. And I think she thought I was gonna say like one or two curse words, but I was going in. But like, I think it's amazing that from so early on, you knew you wanted to become a rapper, yet you also wanted to get that degree. Whereas I also knew from a very, very early age that I wanted to become a makeup artist. And I said, let's just focus on the makeup, but let's forget about the degree. <laughs> I love that you just kept pushing for it. Yeah, I'm really like a person, once my mind is set on something, I have to do it. And I don't like it when people tell me I can't do both. But how the hell do you combine being a sensational rap star worldwide while still getting your degree? Like, how do you how do you do that? Just recently, uh, I've already been going to school online, but I had to do like a presentation for my professor who I have not seen in a very long time, like on Zoom. And she's like, okay, now talk to me about uh, healthcare policies. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't had to say anything serious to anybody <laughs> face to face in a long time. And I was like stuttering and like messing up. And I'm like, when I get on stage, it's nothing like that. But when it's like me and my professors are always like, freeze. She's, and she's telling me all of this while doing a killer wing. Yeah. <laughs> so what are you using right now? What are you doing? So I'm using the black uh, glittery shadow at the bottom to okay. start my wing. And then I'm gonna go over it. This is like my favorite eyeliner from them. Let me get it. it the So Fierce Vinyl Liner is just like glides so smooth. And I'm usually a liquid eyeliner kind of girl, but this eyeliner right here is it. I even use it on my lips sometimes. <laughs> you use it on your lips? Yes, when I don't have like a, uh, like a dark enough lip pencil. I'm like, oh, I could use this. With the pen? The, this one, the one that glides, it's a pencil. Oh, ah, I get that. Oh, yes. Has there ever been a makeup trend where you were like, sit in this one out. My body yaddy yaddy is not joining this yeah, one. Yeah, I'm not getting <laughs> No, I saw one where like everybody started trying to figure out how to do like the craziest eyebrows. And remember they were like doing like the wavy eyebrows and stuff like that. I was like, yeah, I'm not getting on that wave. I don't feel like that's gonna <laughs> stick. I thought that was all Photoshop though, but then people really started doing it. And I was like, baby, no. No, baby girl, where are you going like that? Um, so tell me what it's been like creating this palette with Revlon. What was it like? Was it was it a struggle to get to the colors? No, because I just know what colors I use in general, like always. And it's always like some right. type of warm brown. It's always a black. It's always something shimmery. Blue is my favorite color. And then I feel like purple looks really pretty on my skin. So we had to throw that in there. So it was super easy. Everybody on the Revlon team is so fun. I could say the craziest thing and I'm like, okay, give me a color I've never seen before. <laughs> give me a palette that looks like this. Let's use this font. And they're like, okay, right. Megan, let's try it. So when you look in the mirror, what do you see? A bad bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Every day I wake up. Do you ever have days where you wake up and you don't feel like a bad bitch? Probably like if I'm sick. 
Right. <laughs> like, I always feel like a bad bitch. Um, right. I just feel like that's the way I was raised. Um, my All the women in my life definitely had a lot of confidence. They were strong, hardworking women. It didn't matter how long they'd been at work, they would always come home, hair still intact. Just looking gorgeous. I really loved how they carried themselves. So I was like, you know, when I get older, this is the type of strong woman I aspire to be. Like, even when you're going through something, I feel like it's always important to keep, you know, keep it together, keep your composure. Uh, but how do you keep it together? Because I feel like there's always that one point where you're like, okay, fuck it. I'm not feeling it. Now I'm in my feelings. How do you snap out of that? I just feel like you can't never let nobody see you sweat. Like you can't let people know what bothers you because they will try to use it to continuously bother you. And I'm not you easily phased by anything. Uh, like it's, it's hard to piss me off. <laughs> well, that's good. That's yeah, nine good. times out of 10, like I don't care about what you're talking about. I have so many other things going on in my life. I have like right. three dogs, right. four dogs. Right, cause you have, you have four dogs, right? Tell me more about them. Oh my gosh, Forrest in here right now, stinking it up, farting every two yeah. seconds. He's my little Frenchie. Yeah. And then I have a giant cane corso, his name is 10. And then I have a little American bully, his name is Six. Okay. And I have a pit bull uh, named Bob. Bob? <laughs> five. Like the oh, number five. five. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Bob. No, Is it called Bob, numbers and then yes. Bob? <laughs> My next dog will be named Bob. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we love Bob. We need to introduce our dogs. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Dear four, meet Mila. Oh, hello. Yay. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, girl, what do you have me doing? <laughs> Or so nonchalant, he doesn't it. care about anything except for food. And he goes to sleep so quickly. Look at him. <laughs> He's so <laughs> tired. No. I'm dead. Wake up. <laughs> He's like I'm drifting. Done. He's like, oh, wait. Oh, say bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs> Look wow. at him. He's sleeping again. Boy, don't get on here embarrassing me. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that interview where he was in the intro and then he farted. <laughs> He's always farting. He just can't help oh, it. Dang. All right, so this shade right here, oh my God. Yes. This one, it is like a wet, glittery dream. I like, I'm putting it in the corners of my eyes. Cause yes. for some reason this orange is really like my bestie right now. Well, it looks stunning on you. I wanted to do the orange, and then I was like, let me not be a copycat. Let me try something else. <laughs> do you follow a lot of um, uh, beauty people, a lot of YouTubers, Instagram people that do beauty? I'm not gonna lie and say yes. <laughs> There's like certain people that I like to watch. I look at some, but all of my friends, like we all do our like own thing with makeup and stuff like that. Uh, like all the girls right. I went to college with. Uh, right. So like we're our own little beauty community. <laughs> and what are the latest trends in that community? Um, so, you know, we've just really came a long way with our eyebrows. Uh, <laughs> and we're always yes. looking at videos of how to get better. We kind of followed each other with the cut creases for a long time. <laughs> yeah, and then now, like, they're seeing me get away from the cut creases, so they're, like, figuring out new eyes to do. And I've seen all of my friends doing, like, pretty natural things lately. Like, I feel like I'm the one who, like, puts on the most makeup. They'll have, oh like... Just, I want to like, say good because that's just me. <laughs> I was like, good, good. <laughs> they like the individual lashes and I just, I can't get with those. That is my biggest nightmare that one day I wake up and I go, it will just be an individual lash and a gloss for me today. Thank you. Mm -mm. Okay, we're smoking out the bottom a bit. So I'm using, by the way, let me tell you, I've been using this one in the crease, this one on the outer corner, this one on the lid, and now I'm going to pop a mixture of the two on the lower lash line. Nice and smoky. I feel like mine is just like super simple. <laughs> I can't believe you're almost done. I'm like, I, I came to the party. This is what I'm giving. <laughs> I came to the party. <laughs> I'm giving slick back. So what's always going in your makeup bag when you're on the go? Lip gloss, lip liner, my perfume, and maybe something to touch up my eyebrows. I'm a simple girl. What is your brow routine looking like these days? Oh my gosh. Um, okay, the brow pencil. Okay. And I still do my own eyebrows. No matter who does your makeup. No matter who does my makeup, I have to do my own eyebrows and I have to contour my own nose. And they could be the best. 
And I'm just right? like, I know exactly what I want to look like. You know, you know your own face the best and you know your features and you know what works. And I feel like, I think it's a really healthy thing that you keep certain parts of your routine that you want to do yourself. I think that's very normal. Doing my makeup is like very comforting for me. I feel like it's like the only time of the day I get to really do a lot of things for myself and be in like my own world. Right, it's like therapy. Mm -hmm. Now, would you kill me if we ever met in real life and I'm not doing wing liner today because it might take me too long? <laughs> no, this is probably okay, like good. the fastest I'm gonna do my wing. But I feel like I've like perfected it because I've been doing it since the seventh grade. Mm-hmm. Since the seventh grade. I love that I didn't know what the seventh grade was. <laughs> How old are you? In the seventh grade? You know what I always wanted to know? How does it feel to see people in the world feeling themselves to your song? That it, must be wild. It makes me feel really good because it's like, oh my gosh, I like my music and I like what I'm saying and I think it's so crazy that y'all like what I'm saying. And is there anything new you're working on right now? I am working on something new. A new to project. Share? <laughs> I'm working on some new music. I, I'm always working on new music. I literally write everywhere. I write in the shower. I write in the car. If I think of something cool during the day, I'll just hurry up and write it down in my phone. How do you make a song? Like, does it start with words? Does it start with a tune? How do you, how does that work? A lot of the times, it'll probably just start with something I wrote before and I'm like, okay, let me just think of, uh, like I get with one of my producers and I like rap a little bit of what I thought about and then they'll come up right. with a beat around it or mm -hmm. they'll send me the beat first and then I'll just like be listening to it all the time. Sometimes the beat can inspire me. And is there a certain place where you've been multiple times where the hits just come pouring out. I'm telling you, it's the shower for me. Like It's the it's shower for me. <laughs> it's this alone time I get to think and I get to make all the stupid noises I want to make. <laughs> and do you like, do you have your like your own Beyonce concert with the, with the, with the water droplets and be like, yes. Yes, I'm like in the shower really trying not to slip. <laughs> But nobody can see me, they can't judge me. Cause it starts off with like a lot of noises. <laughs> like I know what I want it to sound like, but I don't know the words yet. Do you want to learn some Dutch? Yes. Okay, what do you want to know? I want to know you. how to say real hot girl shit. Real hot girl shit. <laughs> Wait, let me get this. Echte lekkere meiden zomer. Yeah. Okay, okay, here we go. <laughs> Echte. <laughs> You got. You gotta okay. get that. Echte. Oh, that was good. That was good. Lekkere. Lekkere. Echte lekkere meiden zomer. Meiden zomer. Yes. Lekker. Echte. Lekker. Lekkere. Meiden zomer. Yes, girl. <laughs> you got it. Ah. All right, I am using this Big Bat Lash Waterproof Mascara by Revlon. I always have to use waterproof because my lashes are a nightmare and they never want to stay up. I always have to use waterproof because bad bitches cry too. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait, what's your sign? I'm an Aquarius, so the crying part is not true. Do you know a lot about, about signs, about all of that? Um, I know a little Astrology. something. Oh, good, because I... You know what I've been doing lately to parties and everywhere? I go, ooh, what's your sign? And they go, oh, I'm a Leo. And I'm like, I just wanted to look like I know what I was yeah. asking for, but like, You just I gotta give no like idea. a nasty like, reaction just because. It doesn't matter what like, sign it is, just be like, oh. a oh, Leo. Mm. <laughs> oh, a Leo. <laughs> oh, you a Leo, ooh. That'll really get the conversation started because it'll be like, what? I don't think that it's possible for an Aquarius to date another Aquarius because we are like way too like nonchalant and two people Ooh. can't be in a relationship not caring. <laughs> Acting Ooh. too cool. Yes. And even if I do care, I feel like people can't read me that well. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it's not translating that I really love you, but I love you from over here. You're quite lover. Yeah. I love that. I Wait, Dylan is an Aquarius. My fiance is an Aquarius. What, what else do I need to know? <laughs> we love you down hard. Now what's your least favorite sign? I don't think I don't have like mine. a real least favorite. A sign that I know I cannot date. Yes. 
is a Virgo. Oh, the Virgos. Yeah. Can I have glue on? Look at me trying to trying to act like I know what ah, she's saying. Virgo, <laughs> like, yes. Oh yeah, Virgo. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, no, Virgos are like my besties. Everybody in my life is a Virgo. Oh. Oh. But you wouldn't date them. That's that's no, because we work too good as like best friends. And then I know what they're doing. Cause I'm watching them date other people and they're crazy. Oh, oh that's messy. Oh yes. Little narcissist. Oh, oh, oh she's spilling facts. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> so so what's your opinion on Pisces? I actually really like Pisces. They're super emotional. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> super emotional. Think they know really? everything. No. <laughs> One of my best friends is a Pisces. Wait, so if you know all about the signs, do you want to hear my chart? Here you go. My sun is a Pisces. My moon is a Scorpio. <laughs> I love Scorpios. Wait, hold on. And my rising is a Cancer. I'm all water. Love that for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all water. So are you, are you, oh yes, you're applying lashes. Yes, because I feel like you were there and I'm like, let me get there. Are you using this? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the lashes from the Stock X palette. Which, uh, the day we're filming this, you launched yesterday and it sold out in like nothing. I don't know, like four hours. I think a That's lot of crazy. hobbies had to figure out <laughs> what Stock X like, how does it work? Because I was looking at it and I was like, oh my God, we have to bid for this? <laughs> and then we figured it out. And then it all sold out. I was so happy. Okay, so I am now using the Revlon Colorstay Sharp Line. Look, it's a little, it's a little felt it's tip. Red. It's like, is this felt tip? Like a tip? It's a tip. <laughs> like one of my biggest makeup pet peeves is when you apply a lash and then there's a hole. There's like a disconnect on the on the inner portion, so I always fill that in with a little line. I feel like I did a very natural eye. Same. Well. <laughs> like, and usually I'm with all the dramatics. I used to not be able to use the pen um, because I'm like, okay, you know what? I can draw, but not that good. Uh, and I would have to use the, the thing where you have to like dip it and paint. But now I feel like I'm a little pro. You are a pro. I know artiste. what video we're filming once we meet in real life where you do my makeup. Oh, girl. I've never been to Holland. You've never been to Holland? No. So I'm a, the next time you see me, I'm going to be really up on my Dutch. <laughs> At the end of this video, I'm going to have it down. Okay, I'm going back in with the mascara and putting it on my lower lashes. I just really wanted to make mine pop a little bit more, so I'm gonna add some blue. Okay, to uh, up the smokiness even more, I am now taking the So Fierce Vinyl Eyeliner, and this is the brown one. This is Mighty Mocha. What highlighter was that that you're wearing? Yeah, I was using the the one that you really like. The one the that's bottom. on my lid? Yeah, the, <gasps> the thing that's on your lid is what's on my cheeks. Hold on, wait, hold on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, stop it right now. Stop it right now. Yes. Oh. Oh. It made it really pop out. Oh. Now I'm gonna use the gloss. Wait, let me match. Wait, I'm gonna match the gloss. Ooh. I don't know if summer is ready for me, but I am ready for summer. Okay. <laughs> Damn, you taught me how to say real hot girl shit. Well, teach me one more time. <laughs> okay, wait. Echte. Echte. Lekkere. Maiden. Maiden. Jomer. Jomer. Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> so this is our looks completed using the Big Bad Palette, the brand new collection. Megan, where can we find this collection? Tell us. You can find this collection on Revlon.com. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get it, get it, <laughs> get it, get it. Yes, girl. I love it. You look absolute. that highlight. You look absolutely. Do you see this? I'm shining. Smashing. She's sultry. She's romantic. You want to hug her. Megan, thank you so much for joining me here on my channel today. I had a blast. It was such a pleasure meeting you. You are everything and beyond. Stunning the house down, boots down, everything down. Honey, I am obsessed with you. <laughs> I love you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being here. And I want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And hopefully I will see you guys on the next one.